Welcome to another edition of the Turnpike Sports Book Report. I'm Doug Weishel here with Dave Weishel. We're here to give you a whip around look at some of the latest news coming out of the sports betting industry over the past week. Press releases info at turnpikesportsradio.com. This week in our state and national reports, we're going to start off internationally and talk some numbers coming out of Ontario. Then we've got benchmarks in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Mississippi, New York, Connecticut. Uh, deals. We've got deals involving Genius Sports. We've got a prize picks deal to talk about, as well as a pair of deals again with U.S. integrity. You know, I don't know why I don't think of Canada when you say internationally. It just seems so close to be international, you know? Uh, you want me to call it intercontinentally? No, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. No, they, they are a different country, so yeah. technically you're right. I just don't think of them. When you said internationally, I'm thinking overseas. Well, the, I'll stay. I'll do it this way. North America. Yes. Okay. okay. Industry updates. We seem to have come to an end to the points bet drama. <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah, boy. We've got a new entrant in the New York casino bidding market, mm -hmm. as well as some uh, launches in terms of new sports, as well as uh, new sports books and new states for a couple entities. I, I always like new sports. It's, it's like things I never even think of. Well, this is a little twist on that. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to finish up the show with the legislative roundup. We've got some uh, news coming out of both New Jersey and Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, let's start talking some numbers right after this. 80% of falls in the home occur in the bathroom. Don't put yourself or a loved one at risk. There's a safe bathing system for everyone's budget. Enjoy a bathing experience that combines safety, comfort, and excellence. If assisted living is not for you, a BCI walk-in tub may well be the answer, giving you the safety and freedom to live independently. A BCI walk-in tub is the most affordable and comfortable walk-in tub in the market today. With our dual drain technology, your tub will drain quickly. And for those that still like the feature of a shower, our two-way bliss gives you both a handheld and overhead shower head. We offer the best financing in the industry with payments as low as $99 per month or no interest, no payments for 18 months with approved credit. For comfort, safety, price, and selection, it's got to be BCI Walk-In Tub. Be one of the first 50 callers and save $1,500. Call 800-354-4377, 800-354-4377 for a free no-obligation in-home consultation. Attention. If you owe back taxes to the IRS, watch this urgent message. The IRS is cracking down by hiring 87,000 new agents to garnish your paycheck and put liens on homes and businesses. They can even seize your bank account. The IRS calls it enforced compliance, and now they have the manpower to get you. Penalties and interest on unpaid taxes compound daily. So call One Stop Tax Relief Shop and get the IRS off your back. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. And no other tax shop gets you more or faster approvals. One Stop Tax Relief has resolved thousands of cases since 2014 and saved clients millions of dollars. Call now for a free consultation. Connect with tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Call 800 800-605-0688. iGaming Ontario is reporting that they're a little bit ahead of their goal of 90% of the gray market turning from gray to the legal market in the province. Wow, okay. According to iGaming Ontario, they've already hit 85% of the 90% they were hoping to do in five years. Wow. In okay. one year, they hit 85%. 36 of the current operating entities of the 45 total right now, 36 of the 45 mm -hmm. uh, that were previously operating in the gray market have now come over to the licensed market in Ontario. Now, when when we say gray market, I mean, I'll, I'll, we're, we're talking about the unregulated sites unlicensed unregulated unlicensed unregulated for the province, sites for the province that were basically tolerated in the province exactly. can i say that you okay. can say it that way so you know it, it appears that you know now that canada has regulated i gaming a lot of those gray markets sites are coming over to be regulated yes which is great and according to which is great according to that. other experts and analysts out in the field there uh, according to them, first quarter of the fiscal year 2023-2024, those numbers in terms of handle and gambling numbers mm -hmm. overall, uh, 
they're expected to be about three and a half times larger than they were in the first quarter a year ago. Okay. So that is a growing, healthy market. Yes, yes. Uh, coming back across the border, we're going back in the United States. We've got some benchmarks to talk about for May sports betting reports. Okay. We've got the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. All-time total handle past $22 billion. Wow, that's great. Ninth straight month of at least $50 million in gross gaming revenue. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania is still one of the states that deducts promos and uh, other costs yeah. for the operators before taxing the adjusted gaming Appa Apparently, revenue. that's the old way of doing the things. Old the way the, of the doing old things. tax structure because everything's kind of changing, you know. So. Oh, well, wait till somebody else picks up what Tennessee's doing, taxing the handle instead yeah. of the gross gaming <laughs> yeah. revenue. I don't know if that's going to work, but, you know, it seems to be acceptable uh, for I, Tennessee. I, see, I don't least. know how I feel about that because, because the handle is something that people bet and it hasn't been won yet. So if you're taxing an operator on the handle, it's you're not taxing them on any revenue. You're taxing them on what bets people gave them and, and are still up in the air kind of thing. So. If you look at it in terms of that way, that's that's a, a negative yes. to it. But if you look at it in terms of they're operating in that state and that's what they're bringing in overall. Oh, sure. And also when you're dealing with 18% taxing in some states, the, the revenue, mm -hmm. knocking it down to 1.8% of yeah. the handle. Yeah. I mean, give and take. Yeah. yeah. Uh, over Michigan, Michigan reported their main numbers. State of Michigan's all-time mobile handle passed $10 billion. All-time state taxes passed the $30 million mark. Okay. Uh, Connecticut, um, again, May sports betting numbers, all-time handle passed $2.5 billion for the state they of Connecticut. They love their sports betting in Connecticut. Yes, Boy, they we're do. we're driving through it, and you, you can't help but see a ton of billboards yes. for uh, sports betting. Um, so. Both Mississippi and Wyoming reported their main numbers as well. Mississippi, all-time handle passed $2.2 billion. Okay. And Wyoming's all-time handle... Two two 250 million. All right. It's a smaller state, state sure. market, but, hey, you know, and over in New York, um, while the handle and revenue were a little lower and that's expected at this time of the yeah, calendar, yeah, yeah. uh, DraftKings two weeks in a row. I, leading, good for DraftKings. Leading. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very interesting to see how DraftKings is slowly taking over certain markets. Uh, it's still mostly FanDuel and a lot of the markets, sure, but DraftKings sure. is starting to close the gap in a lot of places, if not taking over like New York. I got, I got to tell you, I, you know, I, I just recently, I, I guess about a month or two, downloaded the DraftKings app. I, I, I haven't had a DraftKings app, and I down, I, I like it. I, and it's really good, and especially in New Jersey where we have the online casino for DraftKings, which is, by the way, they pay, paid out some huge jackpots oh, yes. with some. Uh, in incredible I, they have slot machines and absolutely unbelievable and last note from new york for the week ending june 18th fandle passed 10 billion dollars in all-time handle okay first operator in the state to do that wow all right uh that's it for the state and national reports let's head on over to some deals This week in our deal segment, Genius Sports announced an extension of its partnership to collect, license, and distribute official data, live betting data from the English Premier League, mm -hmm. the English Football League, and Scottish Professional Football League. Okay. Uh, they are distributing low latency official data feeds for all their games. You're talking 4,000 UK football fixtures. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they use that word, fixtures. <laughs> fixtures. Um, I'm assuming they mean matches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that's a huge betting sport. Yes. I mean, look, I mean, we're sitting here in New Jersey and there's a sports bar right around the corner from us that, you know, why why is it so crowded early in the morning? It's like people are watching soccer. Yep. So if you, if you have the urge to bet on something early in the morning, uh, soccer is your thing, I guess. I think there's a whole segment of the population that still is not used to a UK side of betting and a USA yeah, side of yeah. betting. Uh, also part of the deal, they expanded its partnership to capture sub-second skeletal tracking data. Wow. For all SkyBet EFL championship and championship playoff matches through its sec I, second I, spectrum I, technology. I have no idea what that means, by the way. Well, according to the deal, all right. this AI-powered tracking system will Everything's be... Everything's AI, by AI. the way. Everything's Gotta say AI, AI now. Everything's AI. Uh, AI-powered tracking system will be installed at all remaining championship grounds, capturing data on every player, every official, wow, and, and the ball. Wow. So there's going to be a lot of data streaming out of this. 
That's good for uh, yes. like the micro betting kind of thing. Yes. I love that stuff. And also the uh, Genius Sports also announcing extension of the partnership with the German Football Association DFB. Oh, okay. Yeah. For you know, it, it for seems uh, like, for match fixing and integrity. It issues. seems like a lot of soccer that we're watching here in New Jersey and the East Coast it comes out of the UK. So uh, yeah, yeah. I I don't think I've seen any German league soccer. So. Bundesliga. Okay. All right. Well, I still haven't seen it. But I, I haven't it watched the game. I just know it's there. It's still so. mostly UK yeah. here. You know. Yeah, well, well the, you know why? What is the Yankees with the Arsenal? Do they and the Red Sox have uh, Manchester, Manchester City? Manchester, yeah, so, Manchester United, no, Manchester I, City. I don't know, Manchester, one of those two, Manchester something. Yeah, yep. so, so you know, we have the local teams on the East Coast yes. owning, you know, big time soccer in the UK. So. I'm I'm waiting to see the rugby stuff come over now because I'm yeah. starting to see more and more news about rugby. I saw rugby a couple months ago, and it was a professional rugby league, and it was out of Jersey City. So, uh, well, they were playing at a jer- in a in a, a field in Jersey City. So I, I'm not quite sure what that league was. Uh, next deal, we've got Prize Picks. Last week we talked about Prize Picks doing a deal naming Meek Mill the rapper, yes, a cultural ambassador, yes. They now have done a deal. Prize picks have done a deal with the big three. I saw them. I saw it last weekend. I watched a little of the big three, and I saw Prize picks their logo on there. So yeah, no, it's, well, that's part of the deal. That's the, pretty cool. The agreement includes commercial spots, encore advertising, courtside advertising, in-app promos mm-hmm. for big three fans in the Prize Picks app, but also Prize Picks is going to be incorporated into the big three app. Okay. So it's kind of a uh, nice revenue sharing kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, it, it, it was it was fun to yep. watch. It was really fun to watch. I think it was coming out of Chicago. I think that's yep. what it was. I wasn't sure of the uh, team's I, I don't names, I don't know but... who the opening game was, but it started. No, this but past it, but it, it was in Chicago yep. because I know because I saw the banners up on the uh, ceiling of the stadium. It was, had the Bulls on it. So, uh, and also, Prize Picks influencers will attend games throughout the season. Okay, and they'll be assisting the the crowds there to use the app all right so they're trying to do a lot a little bit more marketing on good. both the big three apps and the prize picks app good uh pair of collegiate deals for u.s integrity mm-hmm. we've got a partnership with the big west yeah yep. um that makes the big west big sky pac-12 sec the big the big 12 is that another one is I, big sky I pac-12 so. i think so big big sky i'm sorry Pac-12, SEC, Big 12. It's, I got big XIII in my notes. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming they're two different things. <laughs> yeah. Big 12 and Big Sky are two different things, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, West Coast Conference. Uh, and also, they did another deal with the University of, of Illinois, Illinois, Illinois Intercollegiate Athletics Department. Y- yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so. so they're doing a lot of more, uh, a lot more collegiate deals yeah. for integrity issues. Mm-hmm. In collegiate sports, yeah, uh, we're we're gonna we have an interview coming up yes. with U.S. Integrity, Matt so, Holt. Yes, yes, it'll be fun. It'll be very interesting. You you can't be in the gambling industry without hearing about U.S. Integrity. They are just everywhere. Well, so. it, it's a matter of and, and it and it ma- and it's good for the gaming yes. industry, so because it makes everything a little safer, a it's, lot safer. It's by actually the way. a matter of comfort too. Oh yeah, if yeah. you know these are being monitored, if you ever had concerns about match fixing or integrity of these games uh, uh, companies like us integrity are a necessary part oh, of the absolutely. industry yeah so. uh, that's it for our deals deals this week uh, we're going to talk industry updates right after this every 40 seconds a kid is reported missing find the children provides educational material that teaches your kids how to recognize and avoid predators Our recovery programs are very successful in bringing kids back home to their family. You can help protect our kids and bring the missing kids home safe by donating your unwanted car, truck, SUV, or van. Running or not, we guarantee you will receive the maximum tax deduction. We provide fast free pickup usually within 24 hours. Over 2,000 kids are reported missing every day Call now to donate your vehicle. Donate now to bring this kids home safe. Call 800-934-2260. 800-934-2260. 800-934-2260. Game starts at 20, best slip is empty. I got to call KG. 
KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Oh, come on. Jalen. You want to tell? Yeah. Don't call somebody on live TV. Well, like you answered. I have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry, listen, I need some tips. I'm like LA. LA? I don't know. Dallas. That's not Dallas. 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 How about Detroit? Barry, I'm calling y'all right now. But listen. I got a tip for you. Always go with your gut. I like that. Let's go with our gut. Welcome back to Turnpike Sports Book Report. In our industry update segment, it looks like we have final closing of this points bet drama that was going <laughs> yeah. on between Fanatics, Betting and Gaming, and DraftKings. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, give, a, give a little recap about uh, Recap. Uh, originally, points bet announced that they're putting their U.S. division up for sale. The and sports Fanatics betting division, made a bid. And Fanatics made a bid of $150 million for the U.S. division yeah. only. Um, and then right before the final Which meetings. Which I thought was kind of a done deal, but yeah. apparently not because DraftKings stepped in. DraftKings stepped in, came out with a $195 million deal. It was a non-binding offer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other reports surfaced from like New York Post and a couple of other newspapers and a couple other uh, different outlets, especially in the sports betting industry, that there was bad blood between DraftKings and Fanatics because of a failed merger talk previously yeah well that's like yeah. that's reports I, 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 no one's even confirmed can did any side confirm that or it, there's no there's, confirmation there's so, or so much it, reporting about this it, it just made the story it, juicier it just loved the drama exactly and uh, according to points bet points bet issued a statement very recently that they decided to go with fanatics but only after fanatics upped their bid a little yeah. bit yeah the one question i have and it's because and it's fueling kind of the speculation of the bad blood thing uh, the alleged bad blood who knows but i wonder if draftkings just stepped in to just jack up the price a little bit and then oh, yeah. said hey you know what we're out I, I, I think oh. that is probably one of the reasons. Yeah. I think the other I reason. Say, I hope it is the reason because it's so funny. I, it's great. I, I think the main reason was to try and block uh, the the uh, 15 market deal that would put Fanatics well, in. Well, that's one of the things. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be a competitor in these yeah. markets. And I wonder if they were, you know, wanted to get those assets from points about it. You, you, you just don't know. You don't know what was in the boardrooms. Well, you don't know what the, they were thinking. Well, see, the, the question Unless more, someone comes out with a story who really knows what was going on with the deal and things well, like well, that. Well, the question mark with DraftKings and their bid was they were in the same markets already. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably wouldn't gain too much more of a market share. Yeah. And number two... They didn't have enough cash to make this a binding offer right off the bat. A lot well, of people knew that they only had 700 million operating cash on hand. Mm -hmm. And with the NBC sports aspect of this purchase, that kind of took care of all their cash on hand. Yeah. Uh, but according to points bets board, DraftKings missed the deadline to, to make their offer a, a binding offer. Okay. So they recommended going to the Fanatics. Fanatics up their offer from 150 to 225. They added 75 million to it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're paying 175 million at the front of this, and then another 50 million when it closes. So drama done. Yeah. I, like I think. I think. I, I like the fact that Fanatics got the assets because I, you know, if there's another sports book for, you know, the people in these yes. markets and I think more choice for the consumers is always a good thing. And, you know, the fanatics is a great organization. I think, you know, I think they're going to do well, especially with the, uh, the, the NBC contracts and things like that and the sporting contracts. So, well, I, again, they're, they're acquiring points bet and the, the U S division of points bet points, bet doesn't have huge market share in every state they're in. I mean, they're like one, one and a half percent mm -hmm. of the market. Um, I know 
uh, Fanatics has a huge customer base for their apparel company. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering how much of that customer base for the apparel company are in sports betting states. Well, I, I, I've not seen I that think, breakdown yet. Well, you know, I think we'll find out. And, yeah. I, and I love the fact that, you know, the, the diversification of the Fanat Fanatics brand is going to yes. really help them. Yes. Especially in this. And also betting. since Fanatics owns the collectible agent. I, I, I think too. it's great. I think it's great. Uh, going, staying in New York as America, because we just talked about points bet and talking about market share. And mm -hmm. New York is one of the states that points bets given over to Fanatics. Yeah. Uh, New York has a brand new bidder for the casino license in New York City. All right. Uh, Silverstein Properties and Greenwood Gaming. Parks okay. Casino. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are proposing a 600,000 square foot casino, 1,000 room hotel adjacent to the Jacob Javits Convention Center. That's great. I mean, I, it, that's a great area. I, I don't know if they're going to get it. Well, because yeah, there, there's still knows. a lot of opposition to a lot of these casinos. Uh, well, look, and, and there's a lot of other bids, too. Yep. There's one at City Field. There's one in Times Square. I there's mean, also one where Saks the... Saks Fifth Avenue or something like that in that location or what's going on. Also in Long casino. Island, Nassau. Yeah. Nassau Park it, or whatever it is. You know, yeah. Who but knows? That, one, that one's still under... There's still a lawsuit pending on that one, too. So. Yeah. so it's very interesting. But so. it's very interesting that we're getting now 11 bidders for three licenses. Yeah. That, well, that makes 11 That's the way right it should there. be. That's the way it should be. Um, one other little piece of real estate news, Las Vegas-based Las Vegas Spaceport okay. was granted permission from the SEC to sell stock in order to raise cash for its planned spaceport uh, outside of Pahrump, Nevada. When you say spaceport. They want to do private launches. Oh, okay. But you know, but, but then when we were growing up, yes, in the mall, spaceport. we had an arcade called Spaceport. Yep. I remember like like 10, 12 years old going into that's <laughs> the reason why you went to the mall to go to the arcade, the Spaceport. So, well, okay. according to a Las Vegas Spaceport, part <laughs> of the Vegas construction spaceport. of the okay. Spaceport yeah. will include a casino. Uh, why not? Of course. Why not? Of course. Slots hell? in space. What the hell? You know. Uh, a couple other news and uh, launches to talk about. We've got DraftKings opening up their sportsbook in Wrigley Field. Mm -hmm. Still a restaurant and bar only until they get their okay from the gaming control board. Warhorse Gaming's Warhorse Casino opened its sportsbook. Um, uh, let's see, BetMGM moved its um, sportsbook over to... Um, it's an area called The Banks yes. in Cincinnati. I guess they're, they're moving out of the great American ballpark into this area called the banks. So, well, I guess it's a, I guess it's residential and business and kind of like that. And it's called the banks because it's right on the banks, banks of the Ohio exactly. river exactly, or close to the banks of the Ohio river. Uh, we've also got, according to the pro league network, which is, which puts on the world putting league championships, <laughs> world putting. putting, putting. Okay. Eight States will be allowing betting. On their championship. You've got New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Tennessee, Colorado, Oregon, Kansas, and Wyoming will all offer bets on the World Putting Championships. I might throw some money down on that. DraftKings, Betfred, and Action 24-7 in Tennessee will all be offering the betting markets. Okay. Now, will this be televised anywhere? Action Network will stream the tournament. All right. Okay. Uh, Betmakers added Parks Racing into the app for Mammoth Bets. Oh, great. Um, also, Jack Pocket launched. By the way, Mammoth Bets has uh, fixed odds that's, wagering. That's so the uh, that's, Mammoth that's Bets. That's, that's why Mammoth Bets is so important. So. Jack Pocket launched in Nebraska. Okay. And also, the uh, let me see if I have this right here. We've got in uh, Arkansas. Arkansas added 17 additional sports to its wagering menu. Really? Yeah. 17, huh? They, they now have 32 total. All right. Lacrosse and bowling and drag racing are two, uh, three of the sports that bowling. they added. Oh, my God. I have never placed a bet in bowling. No, and, not too and, many states offer I, bowling and, 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 I, and I don't know anyone who's ever placed a bet on bowling. It, yep. It's an interesting... Uh, Interesting. So. And final note, WinBet launched in West Virginia. That's their yeah. 11th state overall. It's also the fourth state they're in with an online casino. Oh, okay. Uh, that's it for the industry updates. Let's finish up with our legislative roundup. Mm -hmm. Starting off in New Jersey, we've got a very busy senator. 
in New Jersey. Uh, right. Senator Joseph Cryan has introduced Senate Bill 4020, 4021, and also Senate Resolution 127. Uh, All right. Senate, uh, Senate Bill 4020 is a companion bill to an assembly bill which focuses on prohib prohibiting or at least curbing uh, partnerships between educational institutions and sports betting okay. operators. Yeah, I know. That's going to be a big issue across the country. It's so. constantly a big yeah. issue now. Uh, also, Senate Bill 4021 is a bill to restrict advertising for casinos and sports betting under certain circumstances. Okay. Uh, you know, deceptive uh, ads, whatever those are, because there's no definitions in this. Okay. All which right. is going to be probably hashed out as it goes through yeah. committees and yeah. committee and committee and committee. So we'll see exactly what that is, what happens there. And Senate Resolution 127 is a resolution condemning the proliferation of pro gambling ads in the state of New Jersey. Condemning, huh? Condem well, it's uh, a resolution. It's I not guess. a bill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're condemning. Basically, yes. yeah. Uh, and the other state we have here is Rhode Island. Uh, Rhode Island's been busy. Yes, they have. Good uh, for they, Rhode Island. They passed online casinos. Yes. Uh, they become the seventh state for that. Mm -hmm. uh, they've also uh, started the movement toward online poker, which like, they're looking at launching in 2024, correct? Yes, March of 2024. That's one of the reports I heard. So, uh, yeah, no, they're, going, they're doing the whole shebang there. Yep. Good for them. And also, they've uh, sent to the governor, and by the time this airs, he may have signed this already, uh, HB 6313, which amends the definitions of collegiate sports or athletic events on, in their sports betting legislation to permit wagering by Rhode Island residents on Rhode Island schools that are in collegiate tournaments. Okay. They weren't allowed to do that. They're currently not allowed to do that. So is it only in tournament play? If only in tournament play. Okay. All right. Whether it's in-state tournament play or out-of-state tournament okay. play. It just has to be a tournament and you can. Exactly. If you're in Rhode Island, you can bet on. Rhode Island, Rhode Island schools, schools and schools tournaments. Okay. Uh, that's it for this week's book report. Uh, info at turnpikesportsradio.com is the place to send all the press releases. Uh, if you've been following along on TV, we've had our ticker flying by underneath us, which has additional news stories that we weren't able to cover in this half hour. Plus, also, once this show is released, you will be able to go to our blog, turnpikesports.us, click on the blog button, and you will see a full print version of this book report, which contains the stories we talked about, the stories in our ticker, and stories we did not have a chance to cover in our half hour here for the book report. And that'll do for us this week. We'll see you next time on the Turnpike.